One of the aims of education is also to earn money. And if that comes as a byproduct of your passion, then that leads to satisfaction throughout your life. If you want to stay satisfied in your life and want to start a company in the biotech sector, I gave a mantra last time and that was start a simple biotech company, not a complicated biotech company. You look at Biocon, even that started simple by enzyme uh, synthesis and production, right? Very simple. So you have to look at those simple biotech companies which went on to scale up and became complicated later on. You don't have to be the most innovative company on earth today, but you have to be the first company which does things in a simple manner or a simplistic manner, right? For example, there is a company now which is creating biodegradable or flushable uh, sanitary pads. So that's a biotech company. It's a simple biotech company which is using biodegradable sanitary pads because sanitary pads is a you know, uh, waste which creates uh, environmental uh, hazards, right? So, yeah. So, if we look at how do you start a biotech company, a simple biotech company, it has to revolve around one common factor and that I have written here and that is common weaknesses. Common weaknesses of humans. Now, what are the common weaknesses of humans? Now, there are multiple weaknesses of human race. One among them is food, okay? So food is one common weakness. The second is comfort, right? The third is health, right? So you can choose any of these areas which I'm just telling you. So food is one, health is one, comfort is one, education is one, house, real estate is one. These are the clues surrounding the human weaknesses. Then there, there is another um, aspect to, around which you can create companies and that is bringing in better efficiency into existing product. Like I said, sanitary pay, waste. So that is a sanitary pad waste is a problem today. So if we can create a biodegradable solution or uh, ex existing uh, plastics are not degrading, so biodegradable plastic or existing process of killing an animal to you know, generate meat. Instead, what we do, we can generate the meat in lab itself. Or uh, we don't need to kill the animal to get their leather. We can generate bio, uh, you know, generated, biotech generated leather. So what are these? Now, you don't need to get in and start a drug discovery company or a cancer genomics company on day one. Instead, you can get into two processes. One is surrounds the human weakness and start a biotech company or you can start a company which surrounds the um, better efficiency on existing products. Now, the third point which I wanted to tell you is, okay, you have started a simple biotech company, but you have to also look at how can you scale in the future so that suppose seven or 10 employees, you can you know generate millions and billions of dollars. So that's something you have to keep in mind. So you have to rely on technology, you have to rely on uh, strategy, and of course, the efforts of your team. Now, very interesting thing which uh, I have uh, noticed is many of us, when we try to start a company, we feel like copying others. We feel like copying the companies from the West, like America or Europe, or we uh, we don't really want to genuinely design a company around bi biotech problems in India. So if you really want to create a biotech company, simple biotech company, custom make, make and design, design it around the problems which exist in India. That's how you will be able to succeed in India first. You can't straight away uh, sitting in India, create a company which starts catering to US. It's difficult. I'm not saying it is impossible, but it is difficult. So what my point is, three pointers here. The first is design a company around human weaknesses and that is food, health, comfort and um, safety, real estate, that is house or education. And apart from that, then you can also uh, create a simple biotech company uh, which improves the existing product like sanitary waste, like biodegradable plastic or plant-based meat or bio leather. So these are uh, some examples. And the third point is you have to always keep in mind that how would you scale this to uh, 100,000 uh, units uh, per day? Because when you will you will find your uh, product market fit wherein your products series really start selling and people start buying your company products you should be ready to scale and you should be able to set up a factory which will start churning out uh, products so uh, the finest example is fibrohil and um, the founder of fibrohil is a very good friend of mine so I was, when i was discussing with him uh, he said this that 
whenever you want to start a company, there has to be a minimum viable product, which you can show to the investor and of course get, get investment. But the biggest challenge will be how would you scale? Because the moment you try to scale, there will be some bigger company which will be ready to copy your idea and uh, you know replicate it. So you have to scale very, very fast. And if you want any kind of ideas or help or guidance in designing a simple biotech company for yourself and um, if you are a group of friends who want to do that, you can always reach out to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. My aim is to help you design 3000 companies in the next 10 years because if we can do that, I solve two problems. The first is the biotech sector grows faster than ever and I will be able to give more jobs and employment to many people. Now, one last point which I wanted to add is, guys, I am a Chalta Furta. You know, I am a ideas um, labs. Like, a lot of ideas keep coming in my mind and then because of my busy schedule, I don't uh, implement it. So, uh, if you don't have an idea, you still want a simple biotech company idea, you can always reach out to me. You can come and meet me here in Bangalore. If you are in Bangalore, if you want to come down, Please come and meet me so that we can discuss, brainstorm and help you to start a company because if you are able to start a company, you will be able to give employment to so many people and of course, you will be able to pursue your passion, passion you will be able to earn a lot of money and you will be able to distribute a lot of money to your employees as well. So with these thoughts, I will wish you all the best for your next endeavor in starting a simple biotech company. Remember, there is no harm in seeing the dream, there is no harm in uh, trying to execute the dream. The only crime is when you kill your dream. So don't kill your dream. Go ahead, pursue it. My blessings and best wishes are always with you. All the best. Thank you.